everyone, and welcome to How to Clone a Vertex Standard VX451 Radio. Before we get started, you want to make sure that you have your two Vertex Standard VX451s and your CT27 cloning cable by Vertex Standard. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that both radios are turned off so that we can put them into cloning mode. Now, at this stage, the instructions would tell you to connect the CT27 cloning cable to the radios. But that's actually incorrect. Even though the instructions tell you to do that, uh, you cannot put the radios into a successful cloning transmission uh, if the cable is connected. So, as I said, the radios are now turned off. The first thing that we want to do is put these radios into cloning mode. And how you do that is you press the side 1 key and the push to talk key while turning on the radio. So I'm going to go ahead and push the side 1 key and the push to talk key while turning on the radio and you'll see that the LED light has now gone orange. We're going to do the same with the second radio. Press the side 1 key and the push to talk key while turning on the radio and you can see that this one's gone orange as well. So now we have both radios are in cloning mode. At this stage what you do is connect the cable to both radios. Okay. So let's take both radios and we're going to connect the cable to both radios here. And we're going to select the radio that we want to send the signal to, which is this one. We want to take all the frequencies from this radio and put them over to here so both radios can communicate. So we're going to take this radio, as I said, this is the one that's going to be receiving the signals. And we're going to push the side one key once. What you're going to see is that the LED has turned to green. Now what we're going to do is take the second radio, this is the radio that we're sending the signals, the frequencies from, and we're going to press the push to talk key once. You're going to see the LED light turn red. So now the, this radio is red and this one's green. So the red radio is, we'll call it our master radio, has all the frequencies that we're sending over to the second radio, which is the green radio. Once all the frequencies and the signals have been transmitted successfully, you'll see the LED lights turn off. And once they both turn off, that means that we have a successful clone of the radios. So now what we're going to do is we're going to turn the radios off. We're going to disconnect the CT27 cloning cable from both. And then we're going to just turn on the radios real quickly to uh, give them a little test run here. So there's the first one. We're going to turn on the second. Check, one, two, check, check. So we have successfully transmitted the frequencies from one radio to the other. Thanks for watching.